Picked up his first point of the year on Thursday with an assist. Tuesday, rather, against the Buffalo Sabres. Penguins suffer the loss 2-1. Heartbreaker as they pepper Dustin Tokarski. Probably didn't like the change in the cross-check rule because he liked to use that quite often. Brian Ross in the attacking zone. Leans in, goes to Gensel. Back in front, Crosby, he scores! Sidney Crosby! Along with Gensel and Ross, they've still got the magic. 1-0 Pittsburgh. There is the turnover right there. They don't get it deep. Petrie is caught up by the defenseman, and everybody touches the puck here. One, two, three, and Primo ends up in the corner. Crosby fights off a check there, a back check on Petrie. Did you see that? Petrie was on the, his backside. Crosby just shrugged him off. You, you got to break him down with that shot, and we saw Crosby take a shot like three seconds into that power play, Mirzi, trying to you know, off that spray, he said, where that puck goes. Off the end wall, and Hyde, and he scores! Slammed home by Danton Hein, and it's 2-0 for the Pens. Bounce it back to the net. Take a look. There's the shot. Zucker misses it. Heinen doesn't. Wow. That went right off the body of Primo and in. And that's the bounce you're looking for. That's a pretty good one-timer there. As that puck came right off across his body. And as Danton Heinen gets his fifth of the season, and the Penguins with a 2-0 lead. Looking for more. Shot stopped by Primo. And bid from Brock McGinn. McGinn to the line. Matheson. Toss on net. Denied by Primo. Penguins getting their second marker there when we were talking to Coach Mike Sullivan. There were some good chances for the Canadians. Jake Gensel looking for Dumoulin, and That gets broken up. Trying to cover it was Primo. He could miss by Rust. Gensel took a swipe at it. Fired out the center ice. And it's Caulfield. Develop it. Look at this chance right here for Brian Russ. Into the final minute of this first period. Pittsburgh now with numbers. They enter the attacking zone. Rust for Gensel. Rister, he scores! Gensel! Second point of the period. He is staying hot. It's 3-0 Pittsburgh. To reach back for it. Let's take a look. Center drive for Latang. He goes to the net. It's behind him, but he just gets it by all that traffic. And by Primo as well. That puck had eyes. 3-0 pitch. Done a great job. And also good to see them get the offense going again. Having scored just twice in the last two games. Remember, they started the year on fire offensively. One of the top five best offensive teams. Zucker peers over his shoulder to the forehand. Right up the middle. Chance for McGinn denied by the glove of Caden Primo. Cole Caulfield into the Penguin zone, through the skates, backhand try, denied by Jari. A little glimpse of the skill of Cole Caulfield. And when things were quiet, he really made it exciting here at the Bell Center with that backhand. He's dancing around, he's able to feed the point at the end of this. And then, I mean, right after that, to Foley. And we're offside anyway, Jake Evans trying to drive in, does sidestep the hit, cuts the middle, shoot, stop by Jari. Rebound available in front, but scooped up by Marino, and he lost it to center. And then Evans, I don't know how he squeaked through there. With a big shot, traffic in front. Christian Dvorak after it. Well, Pens will go D to D. Dvorak came over from Arizona. Got a couple of chances here to set up one for Drew, and couldn't get a clean shot off. Still loose, and there's the whistle. Going their way as the Penguins turned it over here in front of the net. You just can't get anything clean as the Penguins clean up. Yeah, so Caulfield and his team overcame a 5-1 deficit last night in the American Hockey League to win in a shootout. Right in front, McGinn is denied. Rodriguez trying the bank shot, and that wouldn't go. The Penguins ready for a little bit of action of their own, but they haven't been in the offensive zone much in this period. And when you do, Ben, you got to rely on your goaltender. That's right. The Penguins have gotten the save right in front. Aston Reese, the chance denied by Primo. Now that's one thing you'd like to accomplish in a game like this is get Zach Aston Reese off the schneid. Get him on the board. Here, Here he is. is. Aston Reese back for Bluger. He scores. They team up to make it 4 0. Teddy Bluger. You're able to work it into the offensive zone. Three men strong. And Primo cannot stop that shot of Bluger on the quick feed from Zach Aston Reese. And beats him to the blocker side. Just a little three-foot pass. Apply some pressure on the forecheck. 
Brian Dublin rips one, goes wide of Primo. Bluger. Shot comes in for the point score. It's 5 0 Pittsburgh. You go to the front of the net, and the Penguins did all that. Look at Zach Aston Reese. He's uh, set up camp there, and there is a beautiful redirect by McGinn as that puck is sailing high to the blocker of Primo. And he's sliding one way, and the puck goes the other, and he's still sliding. Set things in flight for the Penguins here tonight with the first goal and his first of the season. 53rd point, 41 games against the Montreal Canadiens underway in the third. Working on different facets of his game. Got a two-year deal in the offseason back in July. Look out a shot off of Jari off the post. And the net dislodged. Close call there. Montreal trying to get on the board. Maybe not their best, but their closest. This wrist shot comes in. There's the glove. And that was a quick reaction save. Wow. Off the glove and off the post. And he really just had to flash that leather at the last second. Just got a, enough of it to keep it out. Simon, there he is again. Tipped it back to the point. Letang flicks it off the post. Montembeau never saw it. Big ping off the iron. And now back up high for Sherrod. Over to Petrie. Into the circle. He shoots. Stopped by Jari. Jari can't it. see anything. Petrie centering pass. Jari gets a piece of that right in front to Foley. But this has been an impressive performance so far with 11 minutes left. Carter on the backhand. Denied by Montembeau. He did a great job getting the start they were looking for. As Mike Sullivan told us. Looking for some swagger, urgency. Really a must-win situation. Gensel to pull up. Rich shot stopped by Montembeau. The atmosphere right in front here. An opportunity for Dvorak. How many chances he had tonight? Again, Jari's there to slam the door. Christian Dvorak takes it wide. Goes to Savard. The setup. Norlinder the blast stopped by Jari. Shot never got through. John Marino slips it to center ice. Breakaway, Bluger dances in, he scores to punctuate this one. His second of the night, Teddy Bluger. With a beautiful play, looked at just onside. He's able to just delicately put that puck between the five hole. Look at this, Mirzi. Look at the, the arm and the move. And What a night for Teddy Bluger. Three points, did everything but sell hot dogs. <laughs> oh, boy. Gaston Reese gets another point. John Marino with an assist and the eighth career shutout for Tristan Jari.